Thank you, Raivo, for the kind introduction and also thank you to CDOC um, for the invitation for this speech. Um, the project I bring with me today is called Museum uh, 4.0, in German Museum 4.0. The network project Museum 4.0 has the goal to adva of advancing digital education by working together in a network of cultural institutions and by sharing the results with everybody. Before I um, go to, uh, into the specific project, I would like to introduce the institution I come from briefly. Um, the Prussian Cultural Heritage Foundation in Berlin is one of the largest cultural organizations in the world. It is funded uh, by the federal uh, government and the federal states in Germany and has been preserving and maintaining the cultural goods of the former state of Prussia. Within the foundation, museums such as the Pergamon Museum or the new National Gallery come together, um, as do the Berlin State Library, um, the state, uh, the secret state archives and various research institutions. So it is, in, in, it is sort of a network foundation that gathers and preserves various cultural goods under one roof. But back to museum and museum 4.0. Um, museum, what is the first thing that comes into our mind? What image does the public have when they hear the word? I suppose that most people's image of a museum still looks a little bit like this. Stately rooms, representative um, and without objects and very few visitors. The reality, however, um, looks more like this, I guess. Um, interested visitors, educated citizens who move around our halls looking for knowledge or aesthetic entertainment. Both images are press photos of the Prussian Cultural Heritage Foundation. And of course, this self-image you're looking at is undoubtedly meant to be somewhat provocative, especially in this, size, uh, in this circle at CDOC, um, because we all know how much museum have, uh, museums have invested in outreach measures uh, in recent years. But nevertheless, the photos show in their image rhetoric that the relationship between museums and people seems to be disproportionate. Of course, I also know that this is an architectural shot, a press image um, for the recently opened James Simon Gallery on Museum Island in Berlin. However, the real purpose of the building, which is in this case presenting art, is not made clear. And the building is six times um, larger than the passers-by in the image. So the focus clearly is not on the visitors. At Museum 4.0, we want to shift this perspective from the institution to the visitors and from the pure research to digital education. So what actually is Museum 4.0? Um, I've told you it's a network of cultural institutions, museums from all over Germany. Beyond the institutional boundaries and across disciplines, Museum 4.0 is testing digital offers for new ways of learning, experiencing and participating in museums. And in doing so, we show and test what digital education means for museum structures and processes in practice. And we share our experiences, results with each other and the entire museum landscape. There are three principles of Museum 4.0. First, um, um, to think um, analog and digital together, to learn and to learn from each other, and sharing and passing it on. Um, to the first point, um, it's important to understand that digital education is not about translating analog concepts into the digital. Um, it's always about content first and technology second. To achieve this, Museum 4.0 creates a test space in which applications are prototypically developed, um, implemented and evaluated. The second point, learning and learning from another. Museum 4.0 offers exchange for partners from various institutions um, across Germany. The network bundles expertise and supports the transfer of knowledge between the network members. 
And finally, sharing and passing on, Museum 4.0 creates synergies. Other museums can draw on the project results and findings of the network. It doesn't matter whether it's a field report, um, guidelines, toolkits, operating concepts, or the source code um, or application, applications themselves. Um, maybe you ask yourself um, what spectrum of topics Museum 4.0 cover. I've brought you a few of the issues to illustrate the range of the uh, project. For, for, example, for example, Museum 4.0 projects deal with visitor research on conception, development and implementation of digital applications. We develop prototypes and test them in the museum. We use the museum as a laboratory and testing ground for visitors and staff. And Museum 4.0 also conveys intangible cultural heritage in the digital realm. It explores the possibilities and limits of technologies, be it in AR, VR, AI or machine learning, and Museum 4.0 for, uh, wants to create playful experiences that promote identification and knowledge acquisition. We use digital storytelling also as um, a didactic method. We enhance digital infrastructure and working processes and we enable digital participation. There you go. Museum 4.0 combines digital and analog visitor journeys. It digitally reaches out to students and Museum 4.0 rethinks the museum itself. We didn't have it, you know, bigger. Um, so far, so good. But what kind of association is it? What are its concrete projects and who is funding this? Um, the network comprises um, 27 sub-projects uh, from various museum divisions. There are art and literature museums, natural history museums, technology museums, historical and archaeological museums, and museums of intangible cultural, cultural heritage. The Minister of State for Cultural Affairs and Media has been funding the project since 2017. The second and the third funding phases rely on Neustadt Kultur, the German government's investment and support program for culture under the COVID-19 pandemic. Um, over the years, the network has grown considerably. Um, from 2017 to 2020, we were only seven sub-projects. But over time, 10 associated partners joined the network who wanted to benefit from the experiences and the knowledge of the members. And in 2021 to 2022, oops, there, um, the network grew to 18 subprojects, and finally, as of this year, to 27 subprojects. A unique feature of the third funding phase is the four tandem projects. All senior partners from the first and the second funding phase share in these projects their knowledge and applications with four absolutely, absolutely new partners. Furthermore, the both tandem partn partners keep on developing the application together. And this is sort of um, a proof concept for the possibility to reuse the applications and the code. Now, to illustrate the wonderland of Museum 4.0, I briefly introduce you to a few of the Museum 4.0 projects. There is, for example, um, the smartphone app Soil Animal High 4 of the Senckenberg Museum of Natural History, which enables users to identify soil animals on their own. The app follows, of course, a citizen science approach. Next. There is um, the Deutsches Museum in Munich, which deals with technology and natural science. Um, it set up a VR lab in which visitors can drive a moon rover, fly with the Lilienthal glider or look inside Karl Benz first automobile. The critical thinking stations at the German immigration house in Bremerhaven um, there you can visitors can answer questions in the exhibition and are confronted at the end with what other visitors have chosen and what different perspectives there are on the topics of the exhibition. 
the Museum of the Swabian Alemannic Fasnacht, a specific local form of carnival, have captured the fluctuative event of the carnival in the Swabian Alemannian region using 360 degree cameras and showing this unique praxis via VR glasses in their museum and elsewhere. The Museum of the Varus Battle, um, an archaeological excavation area from the Roman time, <clears throat> can be experienced and, and communicated using a discovery tool, where other people, where otherwise, uh, where otherwise people would only see an empty park. Um, depending on the occasion and the type of the visit, visitors can choose whether they want to focus. Um, more on the educational content or whether they want to go into the experience. Um, with the one uh, with the onset app of the Deutsche Kinematik Berlin, um, film locations come to life via AR. Um, as soon as you've um, scanned a specific marker, uh, after you got in, a young actress guides the users virtually through the experiences. At the Classic Stiftung Weimar, visitors can explore the Rococo library of Duchess Anna Amalia in, Weim in Weimar and virtually take out uh, the old books off the shelf to browse and read them, of course, digitally. Um, and this project, um, it, uh, this app is called um, Leipzig, or, uh, it's, a, it's a web app, it's called Leipzig 89. Um, from the German Historical Museum, it brings the peaceful revolution in Germany of 1989 to life. Um, it puts the players in the situation of deciding how they would have acted and reacted. Does the policeman remain peaceful? What do I print as a civil rights activist on the demonstration flyer? Um, do I call uh, for a violent uprising or a peaceful pro uh, protest? Do I let the situation escalate? Um, the app shows that history is not a predefined fixed plan, but also em em emerges from individual um, decisions. Museum 4.0 work digitally. Um, on a conference like CIDOC, I don't, of course, have to get into the topic new work, but it's important to me to mention four points that are essential for concepting, designing, developing, and um, of, of course, adjusting applications and processes. So please excuse me if I have to follow these short ex excursus on working digitally. Um, the first point is don't simply outsource the entire thing. Um, get your hands dirty, use existing competences and develop new ones. You won't regret it, I promise. Um, second, work together. Mistakes happen all the time. That means, of course, work together in an interdisciplinary co-creative team. Strengthen a culture in which mistakes are dealt with um, constructively and choose um, a project management or an agile med method that suits your team and your institution best. It doesn't have to be Scrum. It doesn't have to be rocket science. Um, third, digital is not a project. So ensure sustainability of the code, pay attention to follow up costs, but also start earlier. So by defining your digital strategy and by going for um, a working application, not for um, a pure innovation. Um, a bird in the hand is worth um, two birds in the bush. Last but not least, after implementation is before customization. It means don't stop. Ask yourself, how does the application fit into your processes and the institution? Evaluate and make use of your learnings. Ask what is um, who is responsible for maintenance and support of the application. And again, don't stop. Allow a change of perception and direction and adjust when things should be adjusted for the visitors as well as for the museum staff. So far, so good. Excurs is ended. <laughs> Let's come to coordination of the Museum 4.0 project. You have probably asked yourself who coordinates these 27 partners and projects, who takes care of the flow of knowledge and the organization of the meetings, etc. This is all managed by my team and myself at the Prussian Cultural Heritage Foundation. Um, and unfortunately, the photos doesn't show the team in full strength due to COVID-19. 
The central project management team, Team Z, takes care of the administration and the financial and content related controlling. It plans events both internally and externally. It publishes the results of the sub projects, um, takes care of the code review, maintains and develops the website and blog, and takes care of external communication. An essential tool for the cooperation within the network are the network meetings. Every six weeks, Team Z invites the sub-projects to report on their applications, um, to exchange ideas, um, form working groups or jointly develop standards. Um, from time to time, we also invite external experts on specific topics, um, so call me if you're interested. Um, in addition, we discuss um, organizational matters or communication matters uh, in this meeting, uh, which brings us to the dissemination of Museum 4.0. We have given ourselves a guiding principle for communication, which is translated quite freely in effect jointly and affect others. Um, Museum 4.0 has over 150 results. Um, bigger and smaller ones it is growing and uh, it, it is a growing and lively network of experts um, a treasure trove of permanent activities in the sub project and there is a great interest in the subsequent use of the results so the museum 4.0 blog communicates all this unfortunately it's only in german i apologize for this um, but here we present the current um, debate about the shared path to digitality we introduce um, the project teams we publish the follow-ups of the event and we post the blog entries on social media for general dissemin dissemination our social media network with the broadest range is, of course, Twitter, but we also use Instagram, Facebook and the video platforms Vimeo and YouTube. Um, we've started sharing our content on LinkedIn since March this year. Um, with the social, social media channels, we primarily pursue a B2B um, orientation, focusing on uh, quality rather than quantity. But of course, we don't just want to reach museums, but also educators or um, multipliers, the press and politicians, um, as they are our, our sponsors. Um, it is important for us and the project that our content gains reach. Um, though uh, against reach um, so we have to share it um, and like it and um, it has to appeal to the algorithm as much as possible so we can reach um, the whole museum sector um, museum 4.0 also organizes external events that aim to disseminate the findings uh, to interested parties and at the same time ask for requirements uh, from the museum landscape, especially from smaller institutions and integrate them into the current discussions. We have developed two digital event formats for this purpose, um, the Museum 4.0 Impulse and the Museum 4.0 Workshop. On average, over 100 participants take part in the Museum 4.0 Impulse event. Um, the Impulse um, consists of a keynote speech, um, a practical, um, example for, uh, practical examples from the projects, and a fishbowl discussion between speakers and the audience. And during the registration, we ask participants what they are particularly interested in, and users also have the chance to give feedback during and after the event via Slido. Um, the Museum 4.0 workshop, on the other hand, is an individual format that is designed and organized by the sub-projects themselves and advertised via Museum 4.0. Once a year, the Museum 4.0 exhibition and conference um, takes place. While the exhibition makes on-site um, applications available for testing, the conference focuses on exchanging learnings and be um, learnings beyond the network. Last but not least, reusing Museum 4.0. Um, a unique feature of Museum 4.0 is the um, intended uh, reuse of the results. We distinguish between three um, reuse possibilities, uh, which is uh, firstly the reuse of fully developed applications, um, the reuse of open source codes, and the reuse of guidelines, toolkits, um, operational concept and field reports. Um, 
So to um, to get to give you a feeling for reuse project, I put together a few examples. The first example is is Ping, or My Object, an app you may have heard about in the international press. The application um, works for uh, works on the principle of the dating app Tinder, um, and users um, are presented with uh, various objects and can decide which ones they want to chat with by swiping. Um, in the one or in the other direction. If there's a match and after a pres and after a pre-scripted chatbot conversation outside the museum, the users can go on and interact with the object within the museum. Um, this app was developed by the Humboldt Forum and the Badisches Landesmuseum and has been reused by the German Technical Museum um, in Berlin as well as the Senckenberg Museum. In Soil Life Adventure of the Senckenberg Museum, visitors are shrunk via a VR app to the size of a terrestrial isopod and move through the realm of soil animals. It's, it's really quite a, an adventure. Um, and the application has been reused at more than 30 locations in Germany, Austria and Belgium. Next is the State Museum of Berlin, which developed a toolbox to analyze a museum's digital and analog visitor journey. Um, this toolbox has been reused by several museums, including the partner, our partner, the Varus Battle Museum. Um, the historical museum Saar has developed an application that enables school classes to experience digital guided tours in the museum out of the classroom. Uh, from out of their classroom or from at home. The museum uh, provides working materials to prepare before and follow up after the digital visit. Um, so it's a whole sequence of levels uh, of, of lessons. Especially, but not only during the COVID-19 pandemic, the tool uh, was widely used by museums and memorials to address students. To talk, um, I talked about reuse, but how do we do that? Um, how can you get to the results? At Museum 4.0, we have developed a platform where the 150 results are gradually added. Um, the users can filter their the results, can choose precisely the, what project um, they're looking for and fits best to their museum and their interest. Um, to publish the results as a whole, we have chosen a combination of different platforms. On the one hand, as I said, it's on the Museum 4.0 website. On the other hand, we provide the source codes after the code review via GitHub and save the results, best practices and guidelines um, and the like for long-term publications on Zenodo. In a nutshell, um, what summarizes um, the goals and the means of Museum 4.0? Museum 4.0 aims to give aims to give as many people as possible access to cultural heritage. It um, in doing so, it focuses on the users and the visitors, and provides them with suitable digital education in a content driven in content driven applications. To make this possible, Museum 4.0 connects various cultural heritage ins institutions. It ensures um, knowledge and technology trans transfer between partners. It integrates participatory elements and adapts its structures and processes to digital ways of workings, working. And it enables the community to reuse digital ap applications and to learn from it. And this not only for large museums, but also for small institutions. Thank you very much for the attention. Thank you, Freya. This is uh, truly a remarkable collaborative uh, project. We haven't got any questions uh, online yet, but uh, there is a question in the audience here. So. Just wait a second, please, until the microphone reaches the question. There we go. I have the mic. Can you hear me? Yeah. yeah. OK. Um, I, I always observe that uh, museums want a lot of technological output, like applications, for visitors to see what they're doing. Um, 
but I also observe that the documentation of the objects in the background is not as at a state as it should be often. So I was just wondering if those, op uh, if those projects from Museum 4.0 have any impact on the documentation of objects, if there's a like, yeah, if you know what I mean, is some uses of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I would say you should do both, isn't it? <laughs> you should either work on the objects and on the other side, you should um, bring it out and make it easier to, um, to um, work digitally by having the digital objects. Um, some of the museums, of course, use the, or have the chance to to do so and to um, and to work on the objects as well but of course there are also smaller museums who just want to um, have the focus now on the digital education part and on the digital ap application so it depends on the how, how big the museum is um, and how much resources they have mm -hmm. Do I have any more questions uh, in the audience here? I can't see any questions coming in online. I personally was very uh, happy to see the sharing of the source code of the uh, developed applications. Museums are, are early adopters of this slogan of modern times that you are what you share. And sharing the source code of, of the applications that you've developed is very important. So. Uh, very good that that uh, GitHub site exists. Uh, do you have any any uh, notion of how frequently these uh, source codes have been reused from there, or is there interest? Actually, I don't have data at the moment from that, from that but um, I can let you know. Um, and if you're interested in one of the source codes, and if the source codes are main, maybe only in German, then please contact me um, so we can arrange um, a cooperation in a sort. Yeah, of course, the source code also needs to be documented so, and yeah. uh, become a museum object. Uh, in themselves. Uh, the web archives sadly don't uh, harvest uh, githubs and, and similar sites, so it is up to the museums themselves to maintain the, maintain the code. Um, any last questions to Freya? Not from the audience. So thank you very much for uh, joining us at this early hour. Thank you very much. Yeah.